What's up guys, Matt back here with Phoenix Flippers. Today in this video we are going to go over all of the shoes that I have sold in the month of July. So we will get started right now. Alright guys, first up are these Hoka One One Clifton 5 Knits. Uh, the, the very top of the knit of the shoe was knit. You can see in the picture, I'll show you the picture. But I paid $29 for these, I paid up for them. They sold for $108.44. My profit was $48.36 and they took five days to sell and guys on these if i would have so the total sales price i give you is including the shipping if i would have priced them a little bit higher and just done free shipping i wouldn't have paid paypal or i mean ebay fees which on this particular shoe was ten dollars and 19 cents so that was a mistake i made um, because shoe right now shoes that sell over a hundred dollars on ebay there are no ebay fees so i cost myself that 10 bucks just by not uh, paying attention there so don't do that Next up are these Nike Fly Knit Lunar 2 shoes. I paid $2.40 for these. Uh, they sold for $44.59. My profit was $23.76, and they took four days to sell. Next up are these Brooks Pure Flow shoes. I paid $5.43 for them. They sold for $44. My profit was $34.17, and these actually sold on Mercari, not eBay. So uh, that was good. Uh, next up are these... Hoka One One Bondi, Bondi 5 shoes. I got these for $5.43 at Goodwill. They sold for $76.46. My profit was $45.18, and they sold in one day. Next up is this Nike Free Run Infant shoe. I paid $3.83 for these at a Goodwill. It sold, they sold for $23. Uh, my profit was $14.57, and they sold on Poshmark. Next up are these True Linkswear Spikeless Golf Shoes. I paid a dollar for these at a thrift store. They sold for $45. Uh, my profit was $35. These also sold on Poshmark. Um, I think they sold the same day. So good sales there <clears throat> on Poshmark. Next up, guys, are these Nike Air Max 270 Girl Shoes. I paid $5.43 for them. They sold for $39.98. My profit was $20.11. And they sold in two days. So again, quick quick sales on these ones. Uh, next is another pair of Hoka's. These are Bondi 5s. I paid up for these. I paid 25 bucks for these. I actually bought these for my wife. Uh, she wore them for, I don't know, maybe a month or so. And decided that they just weren't the right shoe for her. So we decided to sell them. Uh, they sold for $73.74. My profit was $26.24. And those took two days to sell. Sorry about that. My wife popped in and didn't even say hi. Rude. Just kidding. All right, next up are these uh, Women's Merrill Moab 2 shoes. Um, I paid $9.79 for these, so a little higher than I normally like to, but they sold for $58.24. Uh, my profit was $29.34, and they sold um, in one day. So again, some quick moving shoes uh, in the beginning of, the, of July. It was awesome. Uh, next up are these Keen Newport H2 sandals. I paid $6.23 for them. They sold for $50.89. My profit was $30.26. And those took 13 days to sell. Next are these Nike Blazer mid shoes. I paid $6.99 for them. They sold for $30. My profit was $17.01. Uh, these took 71 days to sell. They they sold on Poshmark. This, these shoes were not in that great a condition. Um, and I don't know, they were just a weird Nike shoe. They took a long time to sell, but um, 1701, I, I just took a low ball offer to get them out the door. Uh, next up, let's see where I leave off. Oh, these Nike Air Max um, NM Nomo shoes. I paid $15.83 for those. Uh, they sold for $51. My profit was $30.07. And I they sold in one day on Mercari. So very quick, very quick sell again. Uh, next up are these baby John Deere boots. Uh, I saw these in a thrift store. I just bought them just because I thought they were cute. Uh, I paid $2.99 for them. They sold for $21.54. My profit was only $9.95. Uh, they took 25 days to sell, but I mean, my profit is still three times what I paid. So even though it was a small sell, uh, still three times. So that's good. Next are these Cole Haan split toe dress shoes. Paid $1.99 for these at a Goodwill. Um, they sold for $44.72. My profit was $21.37. And these took, uh, where am I here? These took, oh, these took 71 days. The baby John Deere's only took 25 days to sell. 
I don't know if I messed that up or not, but uh, next are these Nike Air Rift sandals. Um, I found these at a thrift store, guys. They're like some of the coolest shoes I've ever found. I paid six ninety nine for them. They sold for eighty six fifty four, which I took an offer on just to move them. Uh, my profit was fifty four ninety, and they sold in one day. And like I said, I just so happened to come across them in a thrift store, so it was pretty cool. Uh, not a goodwill, just like a local little thrift. Next up are these Asics. Um, I'm not sure what what these are. You can see the picture. I can't remember what they are. I paid six ninety nine for them. They sold for thirty nine seventy four. Uh, my profit is sixteen thirty three, and they took three hundred and twenty seven days to sell, so they took forever. But I got them at a goodwill forever ago, so I'm just glad to get them go. Let them go. That's probably why my profit's so low. I just took some low ball offer or something to get rid of them. Uh, next are these Vans old school skate high blue shoes. I paid six bucks for these. Sold for thirty two fifty. My profit was only nine twenty because I messed up on the shipping. Um, it had like a I don't know. I don't know if that was a shipping glitch or what it was, but anyways, pretty low profit there. It took 59 days to sell. Next up are the were these uh, Nike Brown Pebble Golf Shoes. Paid a dollar for these at a yard sale. They sold for 43. My profit was 25.46. They took 74 days to sell. Next up are these vintage Ralph Lauren Golf Shoes. I had these I've had these forever. Paid 10 bucks for them, for them uh, at a thrift store a long time ago. They sold for $40.90. My profit was only $12.93. Again, uh, I had an issue with the shipping. You'd think I would know how to do that by now, but I still make mistakes all the time. Uh, this took 287 days to sell, so a long time. And like I said, I just got them at a thrift store. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Next up were these Converse Weapon Camo High Tops. Paid 6 bucks. Uh, I actually bought these on a Facebook lot with Noah. We split them. So we paid six dollars for these. They sold for fifty six forty four. Our profit was twenty seven seventy, and those took seventy three days to sell. Uh, next up, let's see, is this pair of Nikes? I forget what they're what they're called, but you can see the picture. Um, they sold for forty three oh four. My our profit was forty four twenty seven. How's that even possible? Oh, I'm sorry. They sold for ninety seven dollars because I bought them. Brand new. I paid forty three oh three for them. They sold for ninety seven, so my profit was forty four twenty seven, and I bought these at a thrift store um, that they have here that kind of sells like newer shoes, and that you pay up for them, but they can sell for higher. I have a few more from that thrift store too, but uh, those sold on um, Mercari. Next up is another pair of True Linkswear spikeless golf shoes. I paid three thirty nine for these. They sold for forty dollars and sixty five cents. My profit was nineteen seventy one. Uh, it took one hundred and thirty nine days to sell, guys. If you haven't ever heard of True Linkswear, keep your eyes out for them. Um, every pair I've ever had, I've sold for a decent amount of profit, and some of them, like this one, weren't, weren't in very good condition. If you can find them in good condition, they can go pretty high. True Linkswear, keep an eye out. Uh, next up are these Nike FS Light Run threes. I paid five bucks for these uh, from someone on Facebook. They were not in good condition. Um, if I had a chance now, I probably wouldn't buy them, but they sold for 30 bucks. My profit was 19, so still over three times what I paid. Uh, it took 65 days to sell. All right, guys, next up are these Brooks Ghost 10. I paid $6.79 for these. They sold for $57.39. My profit was $32.46. They took 26 days to sell. Next up is a sell that Logan had. He bought these Nike Metcon 4 shoes. He paid $9.63 for them. So he paid up a little bit, but it was worth it. They sold for $67.54. His profit was $41.51. And those sold in three days. And that was part of his 20 and 2020, which uh, I need to do an updated video on that. But I'll get to that later. Um, or maybe I won't. I don't know. Next up are these Echo Shock Point shoes. I, don't, I could never find exactly the model on these, so I just put Shock Point because... That's what it said on the bottom. Um, if you can find the model, obviously that's the best way to, to do because they'll sell for more. But I paid $5.43 for these. They sold for $31.22. My profit was only $12.14, so not very good. Um, and I had those for 62 days. I had them for oh, not that long, but long enough for me. Next up, another pair of Hoka's. These are the Clayton 2s. I paid $2.49 for these. They sold for $50.01. 
my profit was thirty dollars and seventy cents, and they took two days to sell. And I I actually bought those at Savers. Uh, they were like a half off uh, tag or something like that. So next up are these Nike Revolution Four baby shoes. Paid three eighty three for these at a Goodwill. They sold for sixteen bucks. My profit was only four fifty seven. Um, took forty four days to sell. Not not the best flip, but hey, that happens to everybody, right? Next up, another pair of, of Hoka's. These are Cavu. These are the ones that I actually bought for myself, but they didn't fit right. Uh, I paid three fifty for these. They sold for forty six twenty seven. My profit was twenty three ninety six, and those sold in eight days. Next up are these Dansko sandals. Um, guys, I bought these in, like as part of a lot back in March when I like first started to focus on shoes. Sorry about that. I had to move some stuff. Uh, when I first started to focus on shoes, I got this this lot of Danskos. Paid six thirty six per per pair of shoes, and there was like I don't know eleven or something like that, twelve maybe. So this is just one of those. Uh, it sold for thirty two twenty one. My profit was twelve ninety two. Took one hundred and twenty five days to sell. Uh, so it took a while, but I've made my money back on those dance goes like three times over. So not bad at all. Next up are these Nike Air Max shoes. Uh, they're like purple bottoms. I don't know. Paid seven eighty three for these. Uh, they sold for fifty nine ninety nine. My profit was thirty three seventy eight, and they took just five days to sell. And guys, one thing to note on these Nike Air Max, you can see in the picture the the purple air down at the bottom. Make sure you're squeezing that because if it if it gives in real easily, then it's popped and it's and it's no good. It won't sell. So if you're looking at the Air Maxes, make sure you're checking those bubbles because if they're popped, it's they're they're useless shoes. Don't even pick them up. And then the last pair of shoes I have are these Hoka's. Uh, I got these at that uh, thrift store I said that that sells kind of newer items. These ones were were literally brand new. I paid thirty three thirty five for them, so I paid up for them. They sold for $117.69, and because they sold for over $100, uh, I had no eBay fees involved with this, so that's good. It kept help helped my profit stay up. So my profit on these was $62.71, and those sold in one day, guys. So shoes can sell quickly if they're good and they're priced right. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this video or saw a pair of shoes that you didn't think about before. Um, I like to do the shoes separate from everything else that I sell just because I'm focusing more on shoes and I want everyone to know that there is money in shoes. Give me a second and I'm going to go over like my total cost and my profit and all that stuff just on these shoes. So hold on one second. All right, guys, so I broke it down. I had a total of 31 pair of shoes sell in the month of July. Um, today's the 29th, so I still have two days, but 31 pairs so far. Um, I did not include Logan's that he sold in this, so his will not be included. So again, 31 pairs. My total sales was $1,589.14. My cost of goods was $279.32, which is just over $9 per pair of shoes, which isn't bad considering I had some where I paid $40, $30, $25. I had some high-dollar shoes in there, and my buy cost was still under $10, which I, I was happy about. Uh, that leaves us with thirteen oh nine eighty two, minus my platform fees between eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, of one forty nine ninety eight, which leaves me with eleven fifty nine point eight four, uh, minus my pay PayPal fees, which in the PayPal fees are also like all the taxes that they charge to different people depending upon where they live. I include those um, in my sale price, so I also take them back out in the PayPal fees. So my total PayPal fees were one ten thirty one, which leaves me with one thousand forty seven dollars and fifty three cents, minus all of the shipping. Total shipping, uh, just for shoes, was two hundred nineteen dollars and forty cents this month. So that leaves me with a profit of eight hundred twenty eight dollars and thirteen cents on thirty one pair of shoes. Guys, that comes out to an average of $26.71 of profit per pair of shoes that I sold. Obviously, some are higher, some are lower, but that's not a bad average considering my cost basis was 9 my profit was 26 So, not bad. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this and learned something about the different shoes that uh, you can sell. Uh, hopefully, if you haven't sold shoes before, you think about it based on the profit that you see here. 
I do this part time. Um, I work a regular full time job. So just being able to make 828 bucks profit from selling just shoes in one month, I'm pretty excited about. Plus, it was only 31 pairs. So, I mean, I have sold more in a month before. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below um, on either a certain pair or, or what I could be doing better or differently or something like that. I'm always looking to learn and improve my business. And again, thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Guys, I forgot uh, Logan had a, another sell. He sold these Brooks Glycerin 17s. You can see the picture here. Uh, he paid um, $8.48 for these. They sold for 50 bucks on Poshmark, so his profit was $31.52. So Logan had two pair of shoes sell in the month of July, and his profit is like 73 7303 is his profit on those two. So very nice sales for Logan. Um, just wanted to throw those in real quick before I wrap this up.